This is our new chancellor. This is Dr. Nancy Zimfer. She's come to us from a, uh, having been a president of two major Midwestern universities. And uh, she has an academic background, very impressive, uh, appreciates the uh, background, appreciates the importance of, uh, of academics and everything that institutions do. Uh, but also I want you to know that she has been recognized very widely for her focus on students and the best interests of students in the positions that she's had. Uh, I want to thank Mr. Keith. It's been a consummate host and has so represented Farmingdale. And everybody I've met has just been extraordinarily prideful and complimentary. Um, in my new position, I very much want to know what you think about life at Farmingdale. Uh, you know, maybe what your best moments have been, uh, if there's something that we can do better for you, of course that's fair game as well. Um, every day I think about it is I can just jump in my car and drive right onto the airport facility, jump in an airplane and go flying. Um, I'm a pro pilot major and I have to say the flight center is amazing. That's the reason why I came to Farmingdale. In other words, you're getting to do exactly what you wanted to do. Yeah, plus I work right there as a here. flight dispatch too, so. So that's helping uh, with any of the cost of college, and I uh, think you'll graduate debt-free? No. <laughs> Close? But, um, <laughs> how I look at it is, in the long run, it's going to be worth it, Absolutely. so it's kind of a uh, deposit pretty much. It's, a, um, it's like a, taking out a loan to help you out, so it's, it's going to worth it in the long Very run. Very well yeah. said. I'm going to be in my junior year now, and up to date I've completed two internships within my field. Um, Were they paid? Yes. Or, yeah. And wow. I'm currently involved in one of the microwave circuit technologies. And the that's I a was, local business. Yes, uh -huh. it is. Where it's you right have an, a street. paid internship. Yes, ma'am. Okay. And I also did an internship at Inclusive Electronic Design this past summer. Um, and I think that the education here within our major applied directly to both internships because. Both companies, as far as what they were doing, um, it related to everything that I've studied before. Are you likely to either get a job offer or want to take a, a job at either of these two internship sites? Absolutely. Yeah. So you'd Absolutely. be open to that? Absolutely. And they might be open to you? Absolutely. You're hoping. Hopefully. Yes. <laughs> and I would also say that um, the housing aspect is being a head resident, and um, it also t taught me a lot um, as far as management skills, uh -huh. as far as planning event skills. Um, just various um, networking opportunities. So I would say farming that has changed my life tremendously and definitely brought me to, to, to be a better man than I am. The opportunities are endless at Farmingdale. I can vouch for that. I transferred from a oh. big school in a area no one knows about, <laughs> but came to Farmingdale and I love it because it's closer to home and I still get all the attention from the administration, the class sizes are, I think it's just right. The Education Opportunity Program, they helped me okay. a lot. When it came to financial aid, the FAFSA, um, oh yeah, wow. that process, yeah. and mm -hmm. just... Yeah, what a challenge. Yeah. <laughs> they fixed it though, it's getting yeah, better. They, they, I think the resources that we're given as students, especially within the Security Systems Department, I know you can probably attest to this, is mm -hmm. unbelievable. The amount um, of equipment that we're given and the labs, like I just, I'm spending the whole summer re rebuilding these labs and the amount of equipment that we're getting. Are you in, uh, in a paid internship to rebuild? I'm a student assistant. Stuff? I do okay. get paid. Okay. I work for the criminal justice department. So you're working for us building our labs. Pretty wow. Exactly. Wow. Um, I know, I spoke to my chairman today. He said he just signed off on a press release. Um, Bosch, who's a leading security mm -hmm. provider, mm -hmm. donated $207,000 wow. worth of equipment oh, to the program. So the which is going to help, it's going it's yeah. to help grow. And then you get the exposure to state of the art equipment. Absolutely. <laughs> Are you thinking of staying in? On Long Island? Yes. We say on? Yes. Well, yes, we say to <laughs> <laughs> Yes, how about you? Um, I would like to. Uh -huh. I wouldn't be a you know, I wouldn't mind. Leave. I mean, depends on where you get employment. Yeah, I mean, the city right. it's not really, I guess, technically considered Long Island, which I guess is that's where a lot of the jobs are. You mean so. in New York City? Yes. Okay. In um, Manhattan. Yes, I mean, so. obviously. But in the in the general area, you're going to be yeah. New Yorkers. You're going to contribute like to New right. the New York Plus economy. I think, I think my mom would cry if I was. <laughs> <laughs> we really can't have that. <laughs> if you asked me this question six months ago, I'd probably go and brag about the athletics because I absolutely love absolutely. it. Absolutely. 
but after going abroad, I'm going to have to go with the study abroad program. <laughs> <laughs> um, We're lucky you came home, right? Yeah, yeah. very lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I home. Um, now, what did you do while you were there? What program were you in? I was still studying business. Okay. I went to another university there. Um, connected by Connected Farmingdale. through Farmingdale, yeah. Okay. And the school I went to, it's supposed to be like the equivalent of like Harvard, like it's like Spain's Harvard. Okay. So it was pretty good, like that. a good school. Pretty good. Yeah, yeah. I would say. <laughs> um, but it's completely changed me. Like everything I wanted to do before I left has completely changed. Like I don't want to stay home. I want to live in Europe. <laughs> oh my. I'm already going back. Your mother's going to be crying. <laughs> right? yeah. So I would have to go, definitely the abroad program. Like it was just completely different experience. I haven't gotten any real register on the Likert scale that SUNY's image drew you to this campus. I'm waiting to hear one person <laughs> say something about that. Um, applying to college and high school is a full-time job. Um, yeah, that's right. I was really disturbed, um, for lack of a better term, by the fact that um, college is three to four hundred students in the lecture hall where the professor doesn't know your name. What stood out about Farmingdale to me was um, what was said earlier, um, the fact that the classroom sizes are the minimum of you know, 35 to yeah. 40 people. And this and was by reputation, or did other kids talk about this in your the, high school? or Not necessarily kids, but the uh, counselors spoke about this, oh, and they brought it okay. to my attention, and that's what, was, what really drew me to it. Uh -huh. And what I really love about the school is the fact that everything that I'm learning is relative in my field. And I'm, I'm really glad to see that because I was at a fear that technology is always evolving and I may be outdated right, soon enough. Right. However, everything that I've acquired within the classroom, I've been able to relate okay. to the working field through the internships that I've acquired. Well, you're an incredibly articulate. Um, I always say, you know, I think you could pick one or two students that are, you know, just over the top, but I don't think you can fake it when you get a number of students together, and I think your integrity and your candor and your enthusiasm for Farmingdale and for your future bodes well for all of us, and I, uh, I want to thank you.